Hi, as a mom of children ages 34 to age 11, I know just how stressful and overwhelming moving yourself can be. If you're in the process of embarking upon a move at home, the first step is to figure out just what kind of moving boxes are out there and what kind of moving boxes and supplies you absolutely need to buy in order to have a move that's as efficient and stressless as possible. So I'm here to help with that. All right, the first type of box you need to know about is the good old 1.5 cubic feet book box. The book box is a lot more than just for books. It also is for anything at all you have in the house that's fragile, breakable, or heavy. So besides putting in your books, you may want to put in your photograph books, your um, little antiques, your breakables, your collectibles, even your silverware, anything that's heavy and would be too difficult to lift up in a larger box, or things that are really precious to you that you want to keep very safe. The next very important box you need to know about are the medium cartons. A medium carton is great for things that are a little bit bulkier, but not that heavy. So you would put in here your clothes, your platter, shoes, purses, collectibles, your children's toys that need a little bit more special handling. You could put inside even small lamps, electronic equipment, things from your kitchen, such as toaster ovens. The next very important box to know about is your large, or there's also your extra large boxes. These are for things that are very bulky and also pretty lightweight. In here can go all of your linens. Take this box over to your linen closet and you can simply put in your towels, your sheets, pillowcases, then put it over into your bedrooms and you could put in your kids' toys, their, their big stuffed bears. Another very, very necessary box for you to purchase would be the wardrobe box. These are a lifesaver because you can simply move these into your closet and you can take your clothes on their hangers and go directly from your own closet right into the box. And then when you unpack, it's very, very easy. But there's something else you could do with this. You could actually load the bottom up with your shoes and other items in your closet. And if you go into your kid's closet, you could put in sporting goods, you could put in tennis rackets, you could put in hockey equipment, anything that again your kids use for sports can go right there on the bottom. These boxes are specially made. They're a lot stronger than other boxes and they can withstand that additional weight. And finally, the final box that's an absolute must for every mom is your dish pack. This dish pack is made for very, very fragile items. This is where you're gonna put all of your fine china and your glassware and your stemware, and you're going to wrap each item up very carefully before placing them inside this box. And that takes me to wrapping. Um, one of the most important things you could do to secure a very good move is purchase the right wrapping paper. It used to be years ago that people would take home newspapers and use that. The problem is that with regular newspapers, the print can get all over your clothes or your china and create a mess. And so what I suggest is going to a um, company that sells for you something called newsprint, which is clear like this. And it's rather inexpensive and it provides you with all the cushioning and safety you need for wrapping your individual dishes and stemware. You would use several pieces sometimes per plate and you would wrap it very much like a diaper and you go plate by plate and dish by dish and you stack them up in your dish pack. You can also use bubble wrap, which is especially helpful for items that are very precious and very fragile. And they could also be placed in a dish pack or even in your book boxes. Now, what I've just told you are your general boxes, your small book carton, your medium carton, which can also be used for clothing, 
your large or extra large boxes, which again are used for stuffed animals and linen and comforters and your wardrobe, which is used for the clothes that you hang. And finally your dish pack, which is used for your fine china. But there's also specialty boxes, which you may want to consider. Specialty boxes include um, mirror cartons, which can be used for mirrors, but also for art and posters. Um, there are TV boxes, which can be used for your flat screen TVs. There are even wine shippers that are specially made to hold six or 12 bottles of fine wine. And there are bicycle boxes, there are lamp cartons. So there are many, many cartons which you can utilize, which will really protect you and allow for a very, very safe move. So for more information, I welcome you to view some of our other videos on how to actually pack each of these boxes, or you could visit New Haven's website, www.newhaven-usa.com. And good luck with the move.